In today's video, I'm gonna present you my high impact action title effect, but also we're gonna try to recreate it so we can learn some fusion today. This is not the only dynamic title effect that you can find on my YouTube. So if you like it, I strongly recommend you to watch other videos. All of these effects are ready to download and use from my coffee page. So hopefully you're gonna enjoy it and hopefully you'll find something interesting and suitable for your current project. And now let's begin. Once you, you download the, um, the file, just double click it and the following window should appear. In your case, it's probably install. In my case, it's override. And the text animation is ready to use under effects, titles, custom memories, a bin. And in this case, it's number six. So let's drag it to the timeline. And don't worry about this warning. Sometimes it appears, sometimes not. I have no clue why it happens, but it does not affect uh, your project, your work, your final result. When you render your project, there, there won't be any of uh, these kind of warnings on the screen. So don't worry about it. If you know what can be the cause of it, let me know in the comment. I will appreciate it. So this is what you got by default. And uh, in the controller, let me close effects, you have uh, text field, font, size, uh, tracking, line spacing, center. You can change the glow, the glow size and the glow in general. And of course you can adjust the glow color by playing with these uh, four sliders. So if you want the glow to be more reddish, you just increase the red scale. If you want it to have uh, a blue, you decrease red, increase blue and so on. You got the option also to activate motion blur and uh, adjust the quality of it. But of course, if you enable motion blur, you will probably need to enable render cache. So um, go to playback render cache and switch it to smart and you need to wait till this uh, red line turns into blue so this is how it looks and now let me show you how you can create it on your own in fusion i will try to go as slow as possible so even if you're a beginner you should be fine okay so let me delete this and disable playback render cache to not slow down my uh, laptop and let's start by adding a text plus effect. So go to effects, titles. Let's change the text to something like title animation. Let's correct the boldness and the size to something like this. And let's jump right into Fusion page. So in the Fusion page, you should see your template connected to Media Out. So first, it's a good idea to add a background node and work over the background. So that's what I'm gonna do. I just drag this uh, from this menu. And in the Inspector, once you click it in the Inspector, lets me switch it to Transparent. So I will drag Alpha to zero. And if I preview it, so I select my background node and tap one or two on the keyboard, so let's say I want to preview it on, on my second uh, screen. So here I will tap two. I got nothing. I got just empty background node. Now let me disconnect this template from media out. So double click it once this line turns into blue and drag the output of it over the out of, of the background node that will create a merge node. And let's connect everything to media out like so. And let's preview media out this time. So we got our template, which is our text node, merged over the background node, which is transparent, and we've previewed everything in media out on the screen on the right. Okay, now what we need to do is um, let's create a rectangle mask. So drag it from this. So click it or drag it to the nodes panel. And this is the shape of your rectangle mask. You can modify it, of course, in the inspector. I will decrease the height and increase the width to one to fill in the, the whole um, background. And let's say I want a width to sound like 0 0.055 and let's move it down a bit with the center control, maybe to sound like this. And I'm gonna mask my template. So just drag the output of the rectangle over the uh, template node that will connected to the blue input. And as you see, we've masked our text with this rectangle mask. 
we only see this part of the text. Okay, hope that makes sense. Now, after template node, I will add a node that's called DVE. So select the template and open selection tool, which is shift space and search for DVE and add. It should be connected right after the template node, like so. And what the what the DVE node uh, does is you can basically imitate 3D movements. So with the Z move control, you can place it farther or uh, closer to to the camera, some kind of camera to the viewer. So this is what we're gonna animate later on. But right now we need more stripes like this. So I will make a copy of my rectangle. So Control C, Control V. And uh, I will also make a copy of my template but that will be an instance copy. So Control C and Control Shift V. You can tell it that this is the instance copy by the line, this thin green line. And I will mask it with my uh, second rectangle. I will merge it over the whole composition like so. And I will add as well a DVE note after it. And let's do uh, a third one, the same. So let me copy rectangle again. Let me make an instance copy of my template. I will mask it. I will merge it over and I will add a DVE. Okay, so nothing happened because each copy of this template is masked by the copy of the mask that is located in the same position. So right now we need to change the position of the rectangle masks. So give a click of the second one and change it in the inspector by increasing the Y control. So let's say I want to do it like this. It's up to you how you want to do it closer or farther or how big this mask should actually be. It's totally up to you. And the third one, I will place it above. Let me change the overall text size so we better see all three masks. So with the template node selected, go to the inspector and let's increase the size. Or we can make it like so. And let me position it so we see. Uh, 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 uh. Now it's too big. I need to increase, uh, decrease the line spacing, maybe to sound like this. And I will also increase the size and layout because I wanted this text to be under my three um, masks that we prepared. So actually I need another mask on top of it and position the mask on top. So this is what we got. Now you can control all three parts of this title separately. So let's say I can move it to the left, this one to the right, this one uh, up and right, and this one, I don't know, up. See, it all depends how much of uh, masks you will create and how you want this text to be divided. That's the basic concept of this effect. So what we need to do now is to animate DVE controls in my title animation. What I did was, let me reset my parameters and start from the beginning in DVE. So let's go to the frame number 20 and create a keyframe for center and Z move for all of the DVE uh, nodes. Now let's go back to the first uh, frame which is zero and let's set a starting position of each of the DVEs. So let's say we want to start somewhere here and maybe here. The next one I want to start from the left and so on. Hope that makes sense so far guys. Let me know in a comment if I'm explaining my tutorial too fast or is it okay for you? So this is what we got so far if we play it. We got the text, this composing of four elements. So this is basically the core of this title animation. You animate controls in DVE nodes so that the title behaves as built out of several parts. So you can animate it as you wish and you can add the animation the same way, but just go maybe 
to frame 30 and create keyframes for center and Z move. You can also experiment with other controls as well, but I don't want to overcomplicate this tutorial. So let me focus on these two controls. So as you see, I create again keyframes for center and Z move controls on frame 30. Then I go maybe 20 frames uh, farther to frame uh, to frame number 60 and I animate it again for each part separately of course. So this is um, a bit manual work but the possibilities are endless. Let's go to this, to this and to this and let's see what we got. So this is how the animation ends but of course it's not perfect, it's only the idea how you can control all the parts by keyframing it. You can as well smooth it out in spline, so if I open spline window and I select for instance the first VE and I check the display and Z move, you can zoom the view, so click this button zoom to fit and you can select the keyframes you want to smooth out, for instance I selected the beginning of the title animation and I choose smooth or tab S that will ramp up a bit the animation. You can repeat these steps for all other DVE nodes and this is basically how it was done. You can add a glow to the whole composition so select the last merge node and open selection tool, search for maybe a glow node this time as you see already we got some glowy effect in here. We can change the color. So right now we got glowy effect. And in each DVE node you can under the settings tab you can enable the motion blur and change the quality and so on. So it's totally up to you how many rectangle masks or any other masks you want to apply on your text, but you need to have an instance copy for each of it so that you're able to change its position separately so it looks as if the text was uh, falling apart. So as you see this animation is really straightforward to create. A lot of manual copy paste tasks and keyframing is required, but overall what's happening here under the hood is really really simple. As I mentioned before check out my other title animations that are available on my coffee page. Hope you're gonna find something that matches the best the project you're currently working on. Stay tuned for upcoming tutorials and title animation effects. Cheers and see you in the next one.